the life. All right, so I recently wrote an article and I thought I would share on my YouTube with my followers, subscribers, and it is about 10 books that I absolutely love that will challenge your reality, challenge your perception and the way you view life. Because if you want to bump up to the next level, we've got to change the lens that we view from. So the first book that I highly, highly recommend and can't wait to read it again is from Napoleon Hill. So you might know him from Think and Grow Rich. And also what is fascinating about this book is that it actually was released or written a year after and not released publicly until 2011. So it's from like 1920s or something, 1940s. I don't know exactly. That is because it is so controversial for that time, but it's amazing how still relevant it is now. So Outwitting the Devil, it is so, so amazing. Uh, in fact, I've recently met somebody that has read it four times now. It's a conversation between Hill and the devil. And I liked reading it or listening to it because with listening to it, it was two different voices. So it kind of separated everything. All right, so that's book number one. And I'm gonna have links to these books in the, in the notes so you can see those. Uh, the next book I do have in my hands, Gabrielle Bernstein. I actually went to her book launch for this event. And quite honestly, I was not a fan. <laughs> I love Gabby, but this launch, I don't know. There was something off about it for me. I'm sure it wasn't for everyone, but for me, um, I was a little disappointed, but it's interesting because I went to her most recent book launch and she said how the energy was a little bit different for her then. So latest book launch was amazing. Regardless, this book, is so great and if you are someone that likes to compare yourself get down on yourself all those things this is a great way there's tools in here that support you tapping your way like EFT even so tapping your way out of being in this this space of judgment and really being hard on yourself and hard with other people and relationships that you're in so highly recommend this book uh, the next one I read on my Kindle, it's called Dying to Be Me. And the author, I don't want to butcher her name, but I'm going to say it, Anita Morjani. So this book couldn't have come at a better time for me just because this past year I started working with stage four cancer patients. And Anita shares her story of a near-death experience where she honestly felt like she was dying, she was dead, and she chose to come back to life. And her story is so, so magical, and I just highly recommend it, especially if you know anyone that's ill, if you know anyone that's passed, it really puts a spin on death that is so enlightening and it only confirmed everything I was doing with my clients and it confirmed what I was experiencing sometimes when I go hiking. So couldn't, couldn't recommend it more highly. Of course, I am for the third book, going to recommend my book, Get a Line Now. It is a seven week journey to achieve results, to get present within your body, to learn about yourself, your intuition, and allow your body to guide you. So a completely different spin on tackling goals and getting to the next level than you've probably ever been through. So I absolutely love it. I wrote it. Yes, of course. Full disclaimer, you know. All right. The next book is E Squared by Pam Grout. She also wrote it and then it didn't get published for quite some time because they put a whole marketing spin on it and it worked and it is so good. So it is fun, <laughs> funny, it's fun. You go through, I don't remember how many exercises, but she has exercises that you also go through, which you do in my book as well. And you go through these exercises and they are manifesting exercises. So if you're someone that's looking to really hone in on your manifesting skills and you are concerned about where you have 
you know, or what you have accomplished thus far through manifesting and doubt it heavily, I recommend for the hardest resistant people to pick this book up and to try it out. So it's called E Squared, Energy Squared, and it is a fun and magical experience. Uh, the next book I recommend everyone and their grandma and their grandson, <laughs> everyone needs to read this book, The Four Agreements. I'm sure you've heard of it. If you need that little nudge to finally read it, here you go. The Four Agreements is written by Don Miguel Ruiz and it is so good. So many people take things personally when they get feedback and this really lays it out why that is not the way to be. That's not the way to be. So don't take it personally. There are four agreements that he walks you through and it is something that at your core, at your foundational level, I believe you should own. You should own through your core. Uh, the next book is Letting Go, The Pathway to Surrender by David R. Hawkins, Dr. David R. Hawkins. And I use his, his energy frequencies and I use this with my clients. It is so good. And the book honestly took me probably a year to read. So thankfully I bought this one online so I can highlight everything in it because that's what made it so difficult to read is I wanted to highlight and reread every single sentence. This is the type of book that you can just flip through, open up on any given day and read whatever you put your finger on because it is so valuable and really gets you in a different mindset. And I will tell you, my girlfriend recommended that I read this like five, six years ago. And I was so resistant. I'm like, I don't need to let go of anything. I'm good. <laughs> no, this is not what you think. It's not like you need to let go of that ex or you need to let go of that job or whatever happened to you with this. No, it's not that at all. It's really a way of living and letting each moment go to be present. And it really builds and works with all these other books that I'm telling you. Okay. The next one is the most recent read that I've done and absolutely loved it. It's called Mind to Matter. And it's by Dawson Church with a little bit of Joe Dispenza in there. And I will recommend one of his books next. So Mind to Matter is... He, he's all about EFT, so the emotional freedom technique, tapping. Um, I've done a lot of this in my life. I've done a lot of tapping with my coach that I used to work with. I, I think it's valuable to get you out of when you're in that, like you're just stuck. You're just stuck in a, in a thought. If you are an analyzer, if you're an engineer, if you're someone that needs to know hardcore facts, this is the book for you because it is filled with experiments that have been going on for hundreds of years that will support every single message that it's delivering. So if you need the hardcore facts, that is the book for you. And book number eight, A Happy Pocket Full of Money by David Cameron Gikandi. You probably love that I'm butchering all these names. Okay, A Happy Pocket Full of Money seems silly. It was rec It was on one of my books to read forever that someone had recommended me. And I finally picked it up and read it, I think at the beginning of 2018. And it is so fun. And so working through that book is an exercise. Reading the book is an exercise. You are doing the work as you read it. And that's how it's written. So that's kind of cool because it's not like, okay, I need to close the book and now I'll go do this. No, you are in it as you read through it and it's fun. It's fun. And it's also, I would say all these books are worth reading again and again and again, because they are that powerful and you want things to sink in. And they say you need to read a book five times to really, really absorb it. Five times. Yeah, five times. That's why for my book, I told people, I'm like, read this with a group of people. Because when you read a book with someone else, you can share each day or, or if, it, if it's a process, that's what I mind. So you can share each chapter with your friends or a book club and go through it that way because it's really valuable to hear everyone else's experience because it might make you look at something different and it could cement that situation or what they are teaching you just in your core. It helps to just really talk it, with, talk it through with other people. Okay, um, 
And the last book, okay, You Are the Placebo by Joe Dispenza. So if you haven't heard of Dr. Joe Dispenza, he's a chiropractor turned phenomenal speaker, meditation guru, and he, I really wanna to go to one of his workshops someday. He was, he was, he was hit by a car during, a, I believe it was a triathlon in a biking accident essentially paralyzed, told he needed all these surgeries and that most likely he would never be able to walk again. And sure enough, he used his mind power, he trusted his gut, and he willed his way to walking. And the process that he went through is, it, it's really beautiful and hardcore. <laughs> I feel like I've used that word a lot. I think maybe that's part of it being hardcore in your committed action to getting to the next level. So he shares his journey and it really enlightens you to, to the power of the mind, which works with the, the one before, you know, mind to matter and a happy pocket full of money. These are gonna support you in all areas of your life, every single area that you are in right now. And they are they're very energizing, they're uplifting, and they will change your perspective. So as you walk, your talk will also start changing in the world. And I want you to have the best 2020 decade and beyond, and even every single day, I want you to feel free, I want you to feel joy, I want you to feel present. And these books are gonna help you get there and just shift your perspective. And as you shift your perspective and look at the world differently, the world is gonna reflect back to you what is in store for you, which is gonna be a whole nother level. All right, so those are my 10 books for changing your reality, challenging your reality in 2020. Let me know, you know, if you've read them before, I wanna hear the hear your feedback or hear your thoughts, share with me in the notes or in the comments below and look forward to hearing from you guys, okay?